Let's kick things off on tech today with a little bit of a game. When I say a particular thing, tell me what it reminds you of. Your favorite technology show. Maybe you said tech today. Your favorite tech show host. What? Thank you. That's very kind of you. But what if I say AI? The first word that would really come to your mind probably would be chat GPT. And that's a testament to the fact that OpenAI, the company, the founder, Sam Altman and his team behind ChatGPT have done a magnificent job at really giving you that iPhone moment for the world of artificial intelligence. AI has been around for years, but all of us really remember what OpenAI did with ChatGPT a couple of years ago. Now, after their latest keynote, it turns out that OpenAI is all set to change things altogether. Very Apple-esque in this fashion because I was at the Amazon headquarters last year at HQ2 when they announced that they were coming up with this combination of AI and emotions. Scary but true and we have to all accept that this is the way a lot of the AI companies and tech companies are taking the revolution forward. Basically, a lot more conversational with your AI. It sounds like you're talking to a friend, not like you're talking to a robot or a chatbot. So the ums, the ahs, the e's, things that you would do with a normal person, with your friend or your mom or dad, that's how AI would sound. But just to show you what a big deal this is practically and how this can be very creepy and scary, I'm gonna keep quiet and just tell you how eerily, uncannily similar both voices are. A movie from a few years ago with Scarlett Johansson being the AI, being the operating system as a voiceover artist and Sky now. Oh, Mark, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Well, that's an announcement from May 2024. Now let's listen to the original Scarlett Johansson voice from the movie Her nearly a decade ago. Hello, I'm here. Hi. Hi, I'm Samantha. Let's do it again. Chat GPT. Oh, Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? And her. Hello, I'm here. Hi. Hi, I'm Samantha. Well, the Hollywood actress Scarlett Johansson and her family believe that both these voices sound eerily similar. In fact, OpenAI, the startup behind ChatGPT, approached the Hollywood actress last year in September to be the voice of GPT-40. But she had refused. If you were the voice of ChatGPT, how would that make you feel? Happy and excited? Scared and angry? Well, let's just say Scarlett Johansson is not a fan. She was in absolute disbelief when she heard the ChatGPT 4.0 voice a few days ago at the keynote. Since then, the team at ChatGPT, OpenAI, have publicly stated that they did not copy the voice of the Hollywood actress. And in fact, a different voice actor was used for the role. In fact, internal documents also point out that during the hiring process for the voiceover actor, the movie Her or Scarlett Johansson were not mentioned at any point. But Sam Altman tweeted the word Her when OpenAI demoed the voice, thus adding fuel to the fire. Now, this entire saga has unfolded over the last few days and it's been taking all sorts of twists and turns. But out of respect for the Hollywood actress, OpenAI has decided to take down that version of the Sky Voice temporarily. So that's OpenAI really taking one step back. But the minute you actually update your app or start using ChatGPT again, even on the iPhone or Android, it does tell you that the new GPT-40 voices are coming very soon. But this is what we make of this entire saga. What do the experts really think about this whole controversy between Scarlett Johansson and OpenAI. The AI wars have officially begun. It, it is pertinent to note that uh, the model was not trained on her actual voice, but on someone else's voice, which was very much like her. So possibly there's a bit of a legal uh, issue there. However, this raises fairly strong or ethical issues. And the issue of ownership, whether it be of content, uh, written content, whether it be of emotive content, whether it be of voice. Uh, already a lot of voice artists, a lot of authors have sued uh, some of these tech companies saying that, look, you are kind of using this without our permission. Um, and, and, and I think this is going to be a huge battle going ahead uh, in terms of uh, who is actually responsible for 
uh, different parts of their uh, anatomy and different expressions that they have. Yes, it is scary that this is happening, but this was bound to happen without the safeguards that we really need in place for the AI revolution. What is a little bit more concerning or worrisome is the fact that a company like OpenAI, which has all the wherewithal and resources to really steer the AI revolution forward, is hoping to achieve AGI or Artificial General Intelligence. In simple terms, Artificial General Intelligence or AGI is when the AI surpasses human abilities, can start self-teaching. Now that can be used for all the right reasons, but there's a lot of wrong reasons and bad actors that can essentially make that quite a dangerous move if not done with the right checks and balances. So that's how I feel about this particular development, but scary or not, we have to accept that AI is all around us. It's on your laptop, it's on your tablets, it's on your smartwatch, your TV, anything that is now connected in the world of technology even half of the services that we use, whether you're entering an airport, checking into an aircraft, AI is everywhere, even when you're doing those self-checkouts at your favorite takeaway counters. But if you can't escape it, how do you embrace it and how do you use it? Is it, well, using it on your laptop, going on a website, and using a chatbot like ChatGPT or Gemini? Is it actually using something like the rabbit pin or the humane pin? That's something which is not picked up necessarily. Now, everyone doesn't have Ray-Ban metas on them, but that's another way that people are really latching on to this AI chatbot revolution. I, for one, think that your phone is always with you. I have this particular device, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and it comes with a shortcut button. That's this button right here. Press it, and it activates a shortcut. There's a whole video on the Tech Today socials about this. But that's just my tech today jugar to use ChatGPT on my iPhone with the shortcut key. You might not have an iPhone 15 Pro Max and maybe this is an expensive solution. So what's the next best thing? How can you make it even more convenient? Well, welcome to Nothing's New Products. This is an interesting chat GPT integration because this is the Nothing Year A and the new Nothing Year Buds. I honestly, this is the more premium one for nearly 15,000 rupees. For 5,000 rupees lesser is this device, the Nothing Year A. Slip it on, it comes in these pop colors, yellow as well. And since we are talking about chat GPT, you have to connect this to the Nothing phone, one of these devices from Nothing. Just pinch or squeeze, long hold. Hello, Chad GPT. Am I speaking to Scarlett Johansson? Unbelievable. Without the update, because GPT-40 is coming soon and the new voices. Will Sky be a part of it? We don't know. But I've already asked her about Scarlett Johansson and she said, I do have a similar voice to her character from the movie Her. How can I assist you today? So. Honestly, it gives you some sort of an understanding of the language learning model of the data sets and what OpenAI were thinking with this voice. But the Sky voice has existed since September. It's only the new emotions bit, that emotions and AI combination, which is new and announced just a few days ago. So how do you get ChatGPT on these Nothing Year is essentially make sure your Nothing X app, that's the headphone app on the Nothing phone is updated, the OS is updated and you have the latest ChatGPT version. If you've taken a premium version of ChatGPT, log in from that account and then just pinch when that shortcut is selected and watch the magic happen. It's exactly like using the shortcuts feature that I did through a longer route on the iPhone, but then it becomes so convenient. You can ask it all sorts of questions. It's not that intrusive. And with the updates coming to chat GPT, if GPT-40 is what they're promising, then this becomes eerily similar to the movie Her, because we can have a conversation with our chat assistant. Use it for all the right reasons, because this is interesting tech coming to you literally on your fingertips, in your hands. And if you use this the right way, you can actually do some cool things. These buds cost under 10,000 rupees. So very quickly, what's my take when it comes to AI being all around us? Google's doing some cool things with Astra and Gemini. We've seen the guys at Rabbit and Humane experimenting with hardware variables. They have their own operating systems as well. Now you have ChatGPT 
on your phones, as a voice assistant, even on your earbuds. You cannot escape the AI revolution. Should you embrace it? Yes. The only way to really not become obsolete or redundant is if you can pick up exactly how this revolution is actually headed, in which direction it's headed, and then ensure that you have the right skill sets to really embrace all the good that comes with AI and also be very of the not so good that might come with AI as well. That's my hot take for now, but honestly, this is a really cool feature. Hope you really like this segment, but there's a lot more coming in the other segments of Tech Today.